Welcome to Just Crafting Around. I'm Lisa Oxner and I am going to be hosting today's show instead of Kelly. Um, what we're going to be doing today is glass etching on some glass Pyrex pans. Um, I'm going to be using these as wedding gifts. So I went on Amazon and I found these six piece sets um, for like $15, which I thought was pretty reasonable. So take this out. This is one of my favorite things to use as far as baking and for storage. You can see what's in them and they clean up nice. I started on some of them earlier. We're gonna take this small one right here and we're going to put this M monogram on it. Now I'm doing two different sets. so. I'll show you how I got this M on here and then we'll continue on from there. Except that the next one's going to be a G, so. Make sure that I get the right one. Um, when you're doing this, I just went out to the internet and I googled um, M monograms and G monograms and picked the one that I liked and went from there. And then on Amazon, I also bought this carbon paper, and that's what we're gonna use to transfer it onto the laminate. I guess I should go through my list of what you need. I just got some peel and stick laminate, and this is what we're gonna use to trace the letter on and then apply it to the dish so that we don't get our um, etching cream everywhere. You need some etching cream, a brush, a pen, a marker, and then an exacto knife. So, I am going to apply the letter on the back of the dish so that when they bake or put food in it or whatever, um, it doesn't touch the letter inside. So I'm gonna put it on the back. So in order to put it on the back, when you print it, you print it the, the correct way, and then it's going to transfer on here and it's gonna be backwards. So we just take our laminate. I cut the pieces out before. We're gonna put our carbon paper on there. And then line up our letter. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can position it on the um, Pyrex dish when you're ready to actually apply it. So I'm just going to hold it on there with a paper clip to just kind of try and keep it in place. I'm just going to take a ballpoint pen and I'm going to trace the black areas. I've done a couple of these already this summer for um, one was for my cousin and another was for a friend's wedding and it's kind of just a fun, adds a little personalization to it, makes it more unique than just giving them the Pyrex set that I bought off of Amazon. So just go around. I picked more of a simple design just because it's a little bit more difficult to cut out with your X-Acto knife if you have anything too detailed. And I found that this one was just enough that I could handle it, so. Trace around the G here. You could also use, like if you have a Cricut or one of the silhouette machines. It would probably work pretty good for this. Um, this isn't something that I do on a regular basis, so I'm not gonna invest the, the money in one of them if it's something that you were doing. It would probably be worth it. Okay. Almost got this traced. We'll cross our fingers and hope that it worked. Okay, so I transferred my G on there. 
So then what I do, just for good measure, I trace around it with my pen so that it kind of makes an indentation on the other side here. So we just trace back around it real quick. That carbon paper worked really good. The first couple times that I did it, I just took a pencil and colored on the back of this and then um, put it on there and it transferred that way as well. But that's a little less time consuming to do it this way than to take a pencil and shade the whole back in. up with this last piece here. Okay, so now I've kind of made an indentation on the plasticky side um, and I'm just going to trace on that with a permanent marker so that when I put it on the pan I can see it to cut it out easily. couple extra steps but it makes for a, a more professional looking piece when you're done. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we got this one ready to go. We used the carbon paper to transfer it onto here, traced around it so that it indented this side, and then used a permanent marker. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices, mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for 5 to 8 devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have 8 devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. So we got back to this point, what I did with this M have it traced and everything on there. So then what I'm going to do is just take a little glass cleaner or multi-purpose cleaner and clean the back of this dish so that it sticks to it. It always kind of amazes me when it comes packaged how many weird little things are attached to it. So just shine it up a little bit so there's no debris on there. And then we're gonna make sure, um, this says Pyrex on it, so I'm making sure that it's not upside down. And then we're just gonna peel this off. It's got this nice paper backing that you just peel off. And then when you stick it on here, it's gonna look backwards to you just gonna eyeball it. 
going to smooth it from the middle out. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to rub on here to make sure that it's on there securely. Okay. So when you look through there, it's going to be the right way and that's what's going to show up once we cut this out. And then from my view, it's backwards. So our next step is to take our X-Acto knife and we just cut along the black lines that we traced. And you kind of have to be careful. Don't cut yourself. See this sharp? And I've found that it works best to push with the tip of it. And it gets a little trickier when you have curves in here. So if you just push with the tip and work slow, you can kind of move the piece so that you get a better angle to cut. Just gonna keep following the black lines until we get it all cut. It's kind of a slow process, but And you have to press really firmly where it has the brand name on it because of course that's raised on the back and we don't want this to come unstuck because then our um, glass edge is going to seep through. If you had a lot of straight lines you could probably use a ruler just to stay on track if you wanted to. I'm just following the lines the best that I can. You could also do this to dishes you have at home. They don't have to be brand new dishes. If there's a certain dish that you tend to take to church to a potluck a lot or something like that, it would probably be nice to etch your name or something on the bottom that makes it distinct that it shows it's yours and then hopefully nobody will accidentally walk off with your pan. Like I said, these curves can be kind of tricky. Just keep moving the dish. Okay. Now we have it all cut and what we're going to do is peel out the, the parts where we traced. We want to peel this out so that the glass is exposed. You just take your X-Acto knife and get it right under the corner. Um, you got to be kind of careful. You might have to recut in a few of the places, like right here, around the curves especially if you got a letter with curves in it. Okay, so we're just gonna push real hard on there, make that those 
make sure that the edges are sealed down. And if there's any little stragglers from cutting and ripping those pieces off, just kind of take your X-Acto knife and cut them off the best that you can so that they don't get in there. Like I said, we want this to look as professional as possible. I'm just gonna take this paper towel and wipe in there. We don't want fingerprints. Okay, so we have that cut out. And then our next step is to take this glass etching cream. Um, I bought this off of Amazon too. It's called Armor Etch. <clears throat> it smells kind of funky. And then what we're gonna do, you just wanna apply this really thick and liberally on the places where the glass is exposed. So I just kind of dump it on there. And then just shimmy it around with the brush. Um, I probably should be wearing gloves because this is actually an acid etch. So you wanna be very careful not to get it on your skin. So just keep moving it so that it covers all those exposed areas. So that's what it's gonna look like. Um, we need to leave this cream on for about five minutes and then we'll scrape the excess off and we can reuse it and we'll wash it off and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Get three months free access on all lines plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. All right, so we have let this set for about five minutes. Um, like I said before, you just put a really thick layer on it, make sure that everything is covered up. And then you have to be really careful when you scrape this off. Um, my plastic sticky piece doesn't cover everything, so I just need to be careful when I scrape this off because if it gets on the other glass part, it'll start etching that as well. Um, obviously you can reuse this so if you just scoop it off the best you can and if you don't want to reuse it you don't have to but this was actually probably the most expensive thing for this project I think this bottle cost about $20 but there's still at least half of it in there and I've done two complete sets already so actually three when you count this one okay so then you go and just rinse this under hot water um, you can actually let it dry and see if you got everything where you wanted it to. And if not, you can put the etch back on. So I have rinsed this one off. I'm just gonna peel the plastic off. said and done this is what you have it's 
So we've got the medium, the small, and then we'll rinse that off and we'll have the, the 9 by 13 pan. Just a little something to jazz up a, a gift, make it personal. Um, if you have any questions or want any ideas, if you'd like to be a guest on our show, just give the office a call and either ask for Kelly or I at 437-2615. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time at Just Crafting Around.